Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy, The Chief, aka The Chef, aka Chief Cat's long forgotten dad, bringing you another episode of Brawl Stars, where inside of today's video, I am finally back home in the USA after three weeks of traveling abroad in Asia. Guys, those last uploads I've been doing out in Asia were ridiculous. I didn't even have servers to play on when I was playing Brawl Stars in China. There was three second shot delay on every shot that I had, which was absurd. And I'm so happy to be home to get into some more Brawl Stars action. And finally sitting in my office feels like a dream come true. Now, Chief Cat was very upset when I got home. She uh, she still hasn't forgiven me fully, so she's gonna be getting extra pets all episode. But let's go and get in some action right now. And you're gonna see my Mortis is 404 trophies, which is super pathetic because I tilted really hard. When I was in China with three second shot delay, I kept trying to play Mortis because I'm so addicted to Brawl Stars that I didn't want to stop. And I ended up losing 100 trophies on this account. So hopefully we can figure it out inside of this episode and things go just a little bit better than they did before. All right, so kicking this one off, I'm just going to start chunking down in the back line with the, uh, with the Rico as well as this Leon right here. Just trying to avoid most of these guys to make sure we don't take too much damage. Looks like I'm doing a great job distracting, but guys, I, I can't tell you guys how magical it feels to not have every shot go by three seconds. I'm serious. It was so frustrating out in China, but being home is amazing. Obviously, if you followed my vlogs, we ended up winning a Vainglory World Championship, which was super exciting. And uh, yeah, bringing home the bacon and bringing home the trophy makes the trip worth it. But being back on my channel is a dream come true. Let's do this. Now, as you guys know, the new update is coming out soon, and, or not a new update, but the new brawler is coming out soon inside of Brawl Stars. So I'm getting ready for Carl, trying to make sure that we're prepped and loaded for whenever that comes out. Let's uh, make sure we have all of our brawlers to 500 when that goes in so I don't need to worry about getting my mortis up whenever Carl drops but taking a peek here we're already at eight gems so far and I'm digging our team composition as far as having this Jesse and this Brock to lay down that range damage but man I am not even being focused right now I'm getting blasted by this by this uh, barley left and right only two more gems is what we need to get the job done and uh, looks like Jesse's gonna go down once more and finally we can start to figure this one out as I make my way down the left-hand lane. Okay, this is where we really need to make a push. Now, Jessie's gonna probably start spamming away. She's gonna give us a hit or two right there. Leon's actually gonna go in. I'm gonna try to play a little bit of a distractor right here and force them backwards. Looks like we actually did do a decent amount of damage right there. I need to back up though. And oh my goodness gracious, as Mortis, you really just have to stay on your toes non-stop. But it looks like we're gonna get the 10th gem that we need. And so long as Brock and I stay alive, this is gonna be a GG well played. All right, Leon going through. Brock, an absolute legend, cooking that Leon up like he owes him some money right there. That's gonna be a big fat GG and a kill in that turret to make sure we don't get wrecked. Oh wait, actually we know, we need to do a little bit more damage right here. Okay, damage control going in. I'm down to 1000 HP, but Brock and Jesse going hard in the paint is gonna be a GG well played and we're gonna be able to steal that dub. Okay, not too bad getting into our first gem grab match, coming home to get that win guys. And that's what we needed. Not having three second lag on every single one of our shots serves us well going forward into the future. And that's what we wanted to get done. Mortis, still such a fun brawler to play. No matter what you guys think of the Night Witch Mortis skin, I love it. It's troll. People get upset. Let's go and get into match number two and see if we can keep it up. Now, obviously, for Carl coming out inside a couple of days, we can actually show you guys that right now. Sorry to that Jesse who I was trying to team with. Carl comes out in two days and 11 hours from when I'm recording this video. So stoked to get my hands on him. I've actually been playing him a little bit on the developer build, getting a feel for his moves and that boomerang being so OP, as well as spinning on people's faces with his super. Let me know if you guys are excited for Carl inside of the comments section below, but let's get this rocking and rolling right now with the Jesse Plus this Shelly and obviously with the dynamite you guys know the deal when we see a dynamite we destroy him that's all that happens and we're gonna do that right now now Shelly playing it well with Shelly you need to make sure on this map that you're being aggressive towards the bushes and uh, let's continue just rocking on Ford right here. Dynamite's gonna end up getting slapped. That's gonna be some beautiful stuff right there. Let's move forward onto this Poco, destroy him for some more damage, and we're gonna be at three gems so far. All right, not too bad, not too bad. Dynamite's gonna continually be triggered by the fact that we're a Mortis and we just continually wreck his soul right now. Poco's going in, four gems to two, not the worst thing in the world. Let's uh, keep it up right now and see if we can do something right here. Ooh, that was a little bit aggressive. Oh, that was really aggressive. Why did I, why did I do that? I'm a dummy. I thought I was closer to having my super and I could have done my three shot combo and finished off that Jesse, but instead now we're in a real feels bad man and we need to figure out a way to get this done all right continually running forward here i'm gonna blast that dynamite with my super looks like jesse is the only one left with a little bit of hp poco so close to going down before eventually poco is able to heal up 
and uh that's that's a little bit what's tough with the mortis against the poco poco can get so many easy hits against you and especially when your jesse loses connection in the center right there things can get pretty bad all right shelly's gonna start running forward right now i'm just trying to grab as many of these gems as possible while we wait for our jesse and that's actually gonna work really well continually trolling around right here taking so many gems is gonna be beautiful stuff but still we just can't get onto them but so long as we actually keep on getting these gems in the center wait all they need is one more that's actually really bad that's really bad and i had to run in and i had to die okay well unfortunately this one didn't turn out like the last and it's gonna end up being much less of a fun time our shelly don't know what she's doing off in the distance right there but it looks like emmanuel is just gonna run straight okay guys well we uh we ended up playing a little bit of a bot game right here but that's okay one and one on the day let's get into match number three and see if we can turn this one around not bad this is what happens when you queue up solo into a couple of matches things get a little bit crazy sometimes you get matched up especially when you have a shelly on your team you always need to be aware because some players only push shelly up to 400 trophies and no other brawler and then you just find yourself uh it, they're just maybe not as experienced as others looks like we have another shelly on our team but i do respect that skin that's my favorite shelly skin you guys can fight me if you if you disagree but let's go and grab that right there and to pick up some easy gems to kick this one off. All right, Shelly's gonna go ahead and start popping forward. Spike's gonna continue making his way in as well. Finding my way into their back line, guys, this gets them all crazy and thinking that I'm sort of just hiding in what they're doing. It's gonna be a dead, a very dead uh, Rico right there. Shelly's in the back line, and this is how you play Shelly. You abuse the back line of what they're trying to do, and you end up picking up so much work. That's what I'm talking about. Shelly and I destroying this map right now. And even with all they've got, this is this is looking great. Now we do need our spike in the very back to start holding these gems. The spike needs to be the one holding onto these, but I guess I'll be the gem carrier for the rest of this. I've got four gems right now. Shelly's gonna start playing aggressive. Looks like Shelly's gonna finally go down, so we'll start to back things up just a bit, but still feeling really comfortable about this lead so far and comfortable about how my Shelly's been putting in work. Shelly, the game changer right now. Let's pick up a couple more of these gems. Looks like they're trying to snipe me down, but no avail in the end, guys. Running on forward with one beautiful super will take out that penny, and that's gonna be a GG. Complete difference from what happened inside of game number two. Spike able to provide that backline support, and our Shelly being such a monster, using those walls and using her blast radius to her advantage, guys. That's a GG well played, and that's how you get it done. That was so clean. That's what I'm talking about with Mortis, and that's an easy five trophies to add to the bag. Not bad. All right, let's get into another match right now and see if we can keep this up. I need to push my way back to 500 because I don't want to be focusing on my Mortis when Carl comes out. I want to play Carl in Siege. I want to play him in Solo Showdown. I want to play him everywhere, and then let's go and get into match number four. All right, we've got a fellow Mortis, and of course, we're still rocking the Shelly and Spike combo. I love Shelly's matchup against this Primo right here. Primo's definitely going to struggle a bit uh, when he goes in. Looks like we're able to dodge all of those Jesse shots, which is perfect. Wasn't able to kill her, but I didn't want to get too close to that Primo anyways. Let's just continually stack up some work right now. And uh, this is this is great. I mean, we've got the range advantage. They're missing their Jesse. I'm going to see if I can actually just continually blast this Jesse right here. Shelly's going to actually end up helping out. Uh, oh, this is actually a little bit bad for us. I need to back up. Please help, Shelly. Please. Oh, 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 oh. Those were some interesting noises. All right. We're going to get a very nice, very, very nice escape right there. And we're going to end up getting Shelly just continually blasting down their Jesse. And this is what we need to get the job done. Now, the game for me is staying away from Primo, by the, which, by the way, look at that Shelly just blast that Mortis down to zero. Looks like we're sitting pretty seven gems right now to one. Primo actually is going to get super close right here. Primo, we need to make sure he doesn't jump on us and steal our gems. This is fine. We can just back up right here and really reset for where we are. Shelly has her super, and this is going to lead to them having a pretty bad time. All right, looks like Shelly's going to end up blasting the Primo. Primo did actually get the jump on her and pick up... Uh, a nice kill right there. The gems are actually going to even out right here, especially with this Mortis taking care of our spike. And this is where we need to play a little bit safer, but Primo's going to hop on in and uh, let's see what we can do against this Primo. Spike's going to kill that Primo, which is gorgeous. Let's get ready for this Mortis killing our spike. We're at eight gems right now, letting spike die in our hands. And oh man. All right, let's see. This this Jesse is really the game changer for them. If Jesse can land a lot of her shots, that's a really bad time for us. But if she can't, it's going to lead to a pretty bad time for them. Let's go in against this Primo. Someone kill these guys. Please kill that. Please, 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 please. Yes. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. 14 gems for the squad. Jesse running on in, but this should be a getaway from the spike. 13 gems, and your boy's gonna be his protector right here. Let's just make sure Primo doesn't charge of his super. And guys, it's time to dance. It's time to have a good time. And let's go ahead and let it rain. Boom! 13 to 0, complete gem domination. GG, well played. 
And that's what I'm talking about in my squad. Nicely done. Shelly, being the beauty that she is, Spike delivering that damage from the back. That's how you get a win right there. And I got to represent for the team. One more match to keep this one going. Oh, I can't tell you guys how good it feels to not have everything be laggy. This, this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Let's do it. One more match. All right, we've got a, we've got a, actually a pretty good team comp from the enemy team. It's gonna definitely be about Shelly and I getting nice and deep into their backline right here. Nita's gonna go ahead and get a shot onto me. Not really too big of a deal. Spike's gonna continually run on forward. And uh, let's just continue snagging up these gems right now and uh, finding ourselves having a pretty good time. Uh, okay, well, actually Nita's gonna be able to put in some work right there. Bo's gonna snag down. Ooh, that's gonna be some good damage for us. So I'm gonna get the kill onto Bo and uh, let's see how much damage we can put in because once Penny gets her super, she's gonna be a big issue. Once Penny gets this super, it's gonna be a lot harder for us to put in some work. Looks like we're doing a great job of actually dodging up that uh, dodging up that Penny right there. Taking a little bit more damage as Spike goes in onto this Nita. Should be a, some easy 1v1 action. Ooh, that one actually got pretty sweaty right there. Let's activate these bombs at the last possible second. And uh, let's find ourselves running away, healing on up, and okay. All right, which did get scary for about half a second right there. We're gonna end up being fine. Looks like the turret's not in a great position, so we'll be able to snag that down in a moment. Bo's gonna continually run on in. I'm just gonna continue to just dip, dive, and dodge against everything they're throwing at me. We need to get some presence on this field. If Shelly and I can't move up, we're not really gonna be able to do too much. So let's see if I can maybe do something right here. Oh, ooh. Guys, I am living with like a sliver of HP every single time. I wasn't able to get a kill, but I was able to charge up my super a bit, but still, we're just struggling to get this done right now. Ugh, this, this hurts. All right, well, I'm gonna continually move back. Seven gems to six. We need Spike to stay alive and put in some serious damage. Uh, ooh, that's almost bad right there. All right, Spike almost died. Six to seven. Let's grab this gem and back on up, but yeah, we gotta find a way to do this, guys. Eight to seven. Getting close, getting close. Let's see if we can do this. Nita, everyone running in. Let's see where this gem goes. Oh, no, that's that's a tough gem. Oh, that's a really, no. <gasps> How did I live again? The jukes are insane. Oh my, how are we doing this? I need my super though. I am such a troll right now. I'm like a such a troll character. I'm not doing any damage. I'm just dipping and diving and dodging and getting these gems, five gems for this penny right now. We have to run in. We have to get these gems. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here right now. 10 gems to five. They have to chase us down. 10 gems on the mortise. Let's get this going for the win. They're gonna get to nine. Will they get the reset though? They do get the reset. That's actually really bad for us. But the countdown's running forward once more with Shelly. And uh, let's, let's go. Let's go. I've got 11 gems. I'm dead. Guys, I'm dead. Ugh. I thought we had the plays done right there. I thought we had it done. I thought we had it made, but guys, that was, uh, that's not how we wanted to end the game right there. That's gonna be a big, fat GG. The dancing shoes were on, but they were swiftly taken off in defeat. GG well played. Well, all in all, a successful return to the US and a successful return to Brawl Stars. I hope you enjoyed this episode today with a bunch of fun gem grab matches using Mortis. I can't wait for Carl to come out and hopefully you guys are stoked for just in over two days for him coming out inside of the game. But expect a lot more Brawl Stars content from me and thanks for you guys tuning into this video today. And thanks for tuning into the channel. That's gonna do it for this episode. Make sure you guys subscribe if you have not already for some more spicy Brawl Stars content. But until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace.